Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys some cool mods for your Moto Z2 Play and your Moto Z2 Force. The Motorola system of modularity has basically been the only modular system on the market. We have more mods now than when the original system was introduced with the Moto Z and the Moto Z Play. Uh, but the main benefit that we have now is that we have actually more options, unique options for gaming, taking pictures, or even taking 360 video. This is TK and I want to say thank you very much for Verizon for allowing me to check out this system and I'll be able to share with you guys some of my experiences using them. The three different mods that we have today are the Polaroid mod. This is the InstaShare printer. So this is a portable printer that can print Polaroid pictures directly off your phone. Uh, we have the gaming mod or the gamepad mod. And this is again another mod that will enable us to play games, but in a much unique format. Now we know that the front facing speaker is on the top of the Moto Z2 Force as well as the Moto Z2 Play. And that's one of the main benefits of having a Motorola device for these days. We have that front facing firing speaker and then having this gamepad will enhance our experience playing racing games and different, you know, type of games that are compatible with it. Last but not least, we have the 360 camera mod. This is a very nice mod that you can attach to the back of your device. It doesn't cover your main camera, but it gives you the ability of recording up to 4K 360 video. First, we're gonna check out the gamepad. This is again a proprietary one for the Motorola mod system. The reason I say that, if you notice, there is pretty much a cutout for the device. Uh, there's the pin connectors that were standard, uh, made standard with the Moto mods, and of course, an opening for the camera. This is gonna be pretty simple. You take your Moto Z2 4, Z2 Play, whichever the uh, version of the devices that you have, attach it, and then the magnets will connect. There's a little bit of vibration on the device. Let's go ahead and unlock it. And then right there on the top part of the display, you'll notice this says Moto Mod connected 100%. It recognizes the motor mod and it automatically recognizes the fact that it has a, you know, battery is 100%. This will charge through your device, so you don't have to worry about it. Although there is a pass through and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which really is a nice addition. So where we didn't have one on the Z2 Force, uh, Z2 Force here, we can actually get it back here and then we can enjoy music through it. Of course, we can charge through this. Um, although this is not going to pass through turbocharging, which is uh, only compatible directly through the main port on the Z2. In Panorama, we have buttons on the right and left, joystick triggers front and then back, and they do these the front ones do light up, you'll notice right there. Uh, we have a home button, a uh, select button, and then start button. Uh, there is an app that does download when you first install this mod, and it's called the Moto, e Moto Games Explorer. And for the most part, this is just shortcuts to the Google Play Store, but it shows you the games that are compatible with the Moto mod, because this is an important thing. I can install Need for Speed Most Wanted, I can play the game, but this is not compatible with it. That game only works with MOGA controllers, and this is not by any means MOGA controller. So using the Explorer makes it easy to figure out exactly which games you want to install. You notice there's a lot of game loft applications. And then what you do essentially is just select the game and it'll say, go to the Google Play Store, takes you in there, you can download the game and install it. Uh, so I've installed already Asphalt 8 as well as Modern Combat, and those are the two that have worked the best for me. So let's go ahead and turn on Asphalt 8. The best way I can describe it is uh, it's like having a, a mini game system in your hand. You're not having to touch the main display, and again, the speaker being facing forward is a very nice one. Now, as this is loading, you'll notice the camera is not covered. You could always use this as a camera, and it has that really nice uh, logo on the back right there. Definitely very nice. Then you can drift. Very nice. Let's see if we can do a turn. And then, of course, we can go home by closing the application and it takes us back home. The next mod is called the 360 camera. This is a 4K capable 360 camera with surround sound. Um, and the main benefit of it is that it's actually super simple to use. The mod actually attaches to the back of your device. It's very simple. It has a nice little cover for the camera. So the camera itself is positioned with one, two, three, four microphones um, on both sides of the camera. So you have two 180 degree cameras that are basically gonna stitch the picture as well as the video to be able to give you that 360 experience. And again, similar to the gaming mod, it's pretty simple. There's an opening for the main camera. You just attach. You get that little vibration. It tells you that it's connected. And with this one, it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is it's actually just use the gesture that comes within Motorola. And then once you do that, that little twist to turn on the camera, you'll notice right there, uh, it turned it on and it set it up. Let's go ahead and see if I can get myself in the picture. And uh, right there, see, you'll notice I'm, <laughs> I'm actually in the picture talking to you guys. Let me see if I can actually even get myself. Here it is. And then let's zoom. 
hey, how are you guys doing? Um, it's super simple to use. You can switch between the main camera and the 360 camera by clicking it here. Uh, you can switch over between uh, ultra wide angle as well as professional mode and photo. Now by default it's set to photo, but I can actually switch over to video. And then again, it's the same thing. You only have one option for video. As far as the settings, let's go ahead and swipe from the left. Uh, 4K capable for video as well as pictures. You can set it up to set the picture quality. And of course, you can go into the gallery itself. And at that point, you can access the 360 images. And you can actually edit them on this device. So if I click it on here, here it's going to tell me this is compatible. It will be edited in the 360 editor. I'm going to go ahead and start play the video. I'm going to pause it. You notice I can trim. I can take pictures of it. I can actually go in here and I can take like a smaller frame of it, save it, and then of course, export it all within the application so i'm not even having to leave it i will upload this video as a separate uh video available in the link in the description below if you'd like to check it out uh, this was from a walk not that long ago and it should be a pretty good experience just as far as what the capabilities of this camera can do the last mod is definitely a unique one uh, i'm gonna say that it's one of those more unique mods that you've seen on the market uh, the reason behind that is it's actually made by Polaroid. It's the company that we've known for many, many years for making Polaroid pictures. Those instant pictures that you can print. Uh, unfortunately, those used to be very bulky, very big. You needed a special camera. Uh, and you, of course, need to have uh, the ability to get that photo, you know, paper that you needed to install so that you can actually get those pictures out. Well, this mod does it differently. It attaches itself to your phone. And the way it works, uh, it actually has a compartment in the back. So you have a little opening here. There's some paper that's included in here. And then what it does essentially is it's gonna be using the battery that's built into this mod. So it has its own built-in battery. So if I press it here, you can see it's fully charged. Uh, you are able to charge it via the USB-C here option, or if your device is at 100%, it will start charging the mod. But again, connecting it to your Moto Z2, Z2 Play, Z2 Force, very simple. You got that little res uh, response right there. You know exactly it's connected. And then it's going to download a couple of applications. But one of the main one is the InstaShare application. Uh, InstaShare application is by Motorola uh, and Polaroid. And what a nice thing about it is that it actually connects to your social media. So you can pull pictures directly from your social media. It's not pulling up from there. Um, I've already edited a couple of pictures. These are a the couple that I've already done here. I'm going to cancel here. And I went ahead and printed them. Now, at this point, I'm looking at it. The pictures are not exactly the best, but I like the fact that there is sticky paper on the back. You can stick them somewhere and it really looks very easy. So from a sense of what you can do, let's go ahead into the Instagram. I'm hoping it's going to pull it down. And uh, let's see if we can find a good picture. So you notice right there, it's loading my feed directly from Instagram. And I'm going to go ahead and select this picture and just we can edit it here, customize it center it uh, we can change the temperatures we can change a frame for it add some uh, little stickers even add words uh, but then at this point i'm just going to select this word i'm going to take this text take it away and let's go ahead and hit print it's going to send the image directly to the printer and it's going to warm it up you'll notice right there it says warming up as far as the printer and i'm going to give it a second you notice the battery percentage for the mod is automatically displayed there now we'll look at it right here at the back and it's doing a pretty good job, you'll notice. This is pretty quick as far as printing. No more shaking papers, no more trying to do anything else. You just basically print it and use it. Uh, this was from a recent trip that we went up to uh, Lake Tahoe. So, picture's ready. Boom. And then at the end of this process, you can either share your picture that was on social media or you can print another copy of it. Uh, of course, you can still access it by going in, and this is what you did last. The Moto Mods are very unique in what they can do. They're also the only system that's on the market that provides us with some type of modularity with quick snap-on, snap-off uh, options. And not only that, you can switch between these three mods or even any other mods pretty quickly. They have a Hasselblad mod. Um, they even have a mod that gives you the ability of turning into this JBL speaker, and I featured that on this channel before, as well as the a smart speaker function that integrates Alexa into it. So there's a lot of options available. I'll give you guys a link, of course, to the Verizon website to all the mods that they have available. But the main benefit that you're getting there is really this is the only modular system as LG of course stopped doing their system and it's super easy to use. The gaming pad, the 360 camera as well as the Polaroid uh, Instaprint. I think these are very unique mods that will not only enhance your experience but if you have the Z2 Play, not even the Z2 Force, uh, you're going to be able to use all of these mods. This is not dependent on the internal CPU as most of the horsepower is done externally to the actual uh, device. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your famous mods uh, if you use them on the Z2 Force, Z2 Play? And what do you think of the system? And last but not least, of course, I want to say thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out these mods as well as the Z2 Force. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Share and thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.